Hey, what's up everyone? It is Saturday morning, uh, about 11.40 uh, my time, uh, where I'm at. So if you're back on uh, in the States, Eastern Standard Time or some other uh, Central or Pacific or whatever you're at, it's probably really early for you. And I'm sorry if your notifications aren't off and you're getting woken up by this, but um, I'm trying to get my vlog in before I start my day because we have a long drive ahead of us and I got a little time right now. So I'm at a gym here in um, Bucharest. I uh, just got a little workout in um, before we head out. We're actually going to Moldova today, which is about a nine hour drive from where I'm at. And uh, it's actually another country. It used to be part of Romania. It's kind of in between here and Russia. And we're gonna be doing some events there. So um, I'm excited, you know, not excited about the drive, but I'm excited that, uh, you know, this is spreading um, and, you know, reaching other places. So, um, you know, I wanna talk a little bit about the trip uh, and then I'll talk about some other things, but, so far, the uh, the trip has been amazing. You know, better than better than I imagined. Even it would be. Just got to look at the new book cover in Romanian, and it looks fantastic. Adelina's designer did a great job on it. Very excited about that. All right, on a commercial break, just got done doing the first half of the interview. Uh, I think it's a six minute break. You can see the studio behind me. Really nice setup, actually. And uh, I thought it went well. They're translating me in real time and I'm you know, understanding what he's saying in real time. So that's something new. Because it's, it's a special energy. So we just got to the first school and uh, about to kick off this first event. I just met, uh, what's Maria? Maria. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name when we walked in. And she was telling us, how did, how did she hear about? This uh, she heard about us. To Romania for life. To the, yeah. Okay. She was just telling us how excited she was that we were here, mm -hmm. and she hopes everything goes well. So. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about sex. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Only vegetables without Love meat. Love it. This is um, uh, a salad. Very okay. special uh, salad. Alright, we're on our way to Brasov, which is the second city that we'll have events in. We just got to Brasov, and look at that. Just like Hollywood. <laughs> look at that cheese. Anyway, we're walking up to Dracula's castle right now. There it is in the distance. <laughs> So Dracula wasn't a real vampire. He was a guy named Vlad the Impaler. And he would stick a stake through your butt and it would come out of your mouth. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty good way to keep crime down, I think. Because... <laughs> If you threaten me with a stick up the butt, I'm going to be a very law-abiding citizen, I promise. So this is the view of the house that we are staying at in a town called Bran, 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 not far from Brasov, where our event will be tomorrow. But uh, you can see it's really beautiful. And I'm a long way from home. And I came because I sincerely want every one of you here to have a great life. And I'm going to explain some things to you today that no one really explained to me when I was your age. Oh my god. Okay. You are there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to tell you that you have me so much, and I want to thank you. Thank you. That's my heart. My heart. How, how do 
I help you? How do I help you? I started believing in love again. Unfortunately, but fortunately, I'm here and I just met you, and I'm so happy. Awesome. And I'm here to buy your food, and I hope you can run Breakfast of Champions. Mm. Today's Wednesday, and that means all vegetables. Yummy. I have a, an event this weekend. I have an interview tonight with Trinitas TV and more events. And then we head out again to several more cities. So every day I'm hustling. You know, value this testimony to give back to people. And um, it just amazes me, man. It blows my mind that he took something, my mess, and he made it a message that is now helping other people. So off to Bucharest today. This kid came up to me after the event and he was started telling me how much my talk impacted him. And as I was signing his book, he started crying. And I was like, man, it just made me so grateful for what God has done in my life. Thursday morning, about 7.30, waiting for my ride to go to the gym. And um, I had a late night last night. We had an event in, in a city called Cluj. That's where I'm at right now. It's a college town. There's about 60 people in attendance. I think I sold about 20 right, books. Yeah, Radio so Trinitas yeah. just got into Bucharest a few minutes ago I'm about to do this interview that will go out uh, to the entire country uh, and hopefully get more people to our events and uh, spread the word about the, the project. My mom got pregnant with me at the age of 14. She was in the eighth grade. And for the most part, I grew up without a father in the picture. I really just kind of taught myself how to be a man from watching television and movies. Uh, didn't really have a strong you know, male role model and started using drugs when I was 11 years old. I started getting arrested when I was 12. I uh, lost my virginity when I was 16 and began sleeping with girls regularly because that, I thought that's what it meant to be a man. Um, and just really, it started a pattern for me where I was doing the easy thing versus the right thing. And little did I know, I was trading things that I would want most later for the things that I wanted right now. And uh, you know, that led to me becoming a male stripper when I was 19 years old, um, you know, and I was just living the fast life, making lots of money, I was popular, the women came easily to me. But my relationships with Women All right, I'm here at Economic College in Bucharest. Let's All the events are well attended. You know, sometimes we have more than 100 people in attendance, usually at the schools. Uh, but the, the people are very receptive. They're very, they're listening intently. They're asking great questions. The Romanian people are super nice, very gracious people. It's a beautiful country. The women are beautiful. It's, it's very inexpensive uh, here uh, to eat out or, you know, even to buy souvenirs. Um, so it's, it's great. I love it. I, I really enjoy it. And they want me to come back for two months in the spring of next year, which I'm not sold on yet. Um, just because I don't know what's going to be happening in my world back in the States and, you know, wherever. But uh, I definitely am going to come back. I just don't know for how long. But, um, yeah, it's been awesome. There's a lot of interest um, in my story um, specifically, which is kind of surprising to me, actually. I, you know, to me, I'm like, I'm just a guy that got obedient to God and stopped having casual sex because it wasn't working for him. To them, it's like, well, you know, like this sh huge, uh, you know, news story because, I mean, so I was talking to somebody about it the other day, a Romanian girl, and she said, well, first off, it's the message, you know, it's the fact that, you know, you're talking about sex, you're talking about waiting, which no one really talks about, you know, publicly. And then she's like, second, you're a man. Third, you're American. And fourth, you're past. And she's like, that's what makes it so unique. And I was like, okay, I started to get it. Um, but for whatever reason, um, you know, God knew because this is all his idea. You know, I tell people all the time, I'm like, this was not my idea to be abstinent and have this message. I mean, you couldn't have paid me to be abstinent actually back in the day. Um, but you know, God knew better and he told me the right things at the right time and got me to this point. And now he's doing something with, with the message. And, um, it's really exciting. We've actually gotten, uh, contacts from um, Moldova, where we're headed today, that was actually not in the original plan. We had 
got contacts from Vancouver, British Columbia, uh, Germany, and maybe some other places that I'm not thinking about. But um, it's exciting because, you know, if we can translate the book into those languages and, uh, you know, maybe do some media appearances there, do some speaking appearances, and, you know, really set up, start a brush fire that has the potential of um, opening a lot of people's eyes, you know, and setting people free from... Um, the dis, you know, the the illusion of um, of fast sex and how you can find love that way. I mean, not not to say it's impossible. I know I've known people that have gotten extremely lucky. You know, like on the on the level of hitting the lottery. Um, but it's just not common. You know, um, I, like I said, people hit the lottery, but I'm not going to make it my re retirement strategy either. Sorry, it just got a little louder where I'm at. But. Um, it's going really well, and I, I want to give a shout out to all of our, our hosts um, specifically because there are people that are opening their homes to us and uh, letting us stay at their place. And, uh, you know, we're sleeping on couches and they're feeding us, and, uh, you know, they're doing all the legwork behind the scenes to set up the events and advertise it and contact media um, so that when we get there, we can let people know what's going on. So, um, a lot of, lot of good people that are working behind the scenes. Adelina's incredible. She's just, you know, making my life easy for the most part. I drive <laughs> to the places because she uh, is working and then I speak. And, um, you know, for the most part, she's worked out all the details. So it's been great, regardless to say, and, and I'm excited to see where it goes. It's already surpassed anything that I could have um, dreamed of it doing you know if you're uh, if you're praying back home thank you keep praying it's obviously working because uh <laughs> the book isn't that good i mean it's a good book you know it's not it's a good book and it helps people but i'm like it, the things that are happening now are almost like beyond explanation so i know it's god working and i'm just uh, i'm grateful so anyway keep doing what you're doing um I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about, uh, I want to talk about the, in a minute, not yet, I want to talk about the Drew Hill Show, I'm going to mention New Year's Eve, I want to talk about City Fam and some of the, the new chapters that are, that are popping up, but I really want to, I was thinking about it the other day, and I was, um, I'm thinking, man, you know, life's starting to get pretty good, you know, like I was disillusioned not that long ago, depressed, you know, one question in, is it worth it, like, you know, did I, it just, questioning it, it all. And um, I'm not doing that anymore. You know, like things are really starting to work. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm firing on all cylinders. I'm really stepping into my own, myself, you know, and doing, doing what I like to do and what, what I was created to do. And I was thinking, you know, how many people, you know, that maybe you're successful, right? And if my thought is this, if you don't have a relationship with God, I don't care how successful you are, you're not firing on all cylinders. Because how do you know what you're here to do unless you have a, uh, a relationship, like a day-to-day -day relationship with the person, the being that puts you here, you know? And I was thinking about it like, you know, now I'm like being my unique self. And, and I think it's especially people that are, you know, Christians, a lot of times they get into this box. Like it's almost like this cookie cutter thing. And they think, oh, I have to act this certain way or I can do these things, but not these things. And then they end up acting like everybody else and not their unique self. And then they're not as effective as they would be otherwise. Like for me, I, I don't believe any of that. Like obviously I, I believe there is such a thing as, you know, sin, uh, things that can separate you from God and you got to keep those out of your life. But I'm like, you know, not in any box and I don't think God wants you to be in any box so for me as I'm stepping out doing different things like promoting concerts and then I'm not talking I'm talking about not having sex over here some people might say well what is that like I showed some girl the uh I showed some girl a video of of Cisco the other day I was like I'm have this Drew Hill show in in uh in the states do you know who they are and she's like no so I showed her I actually showed her the thong song uh video because that's his most popular song and uh, she, I said, do you know, have you heard this song? And she's like, no. She goes, what does that have to do with God? And I was like, nothing, really. I'm like, but I mean, I, at the same time for me, it, it, I'm tying in, you know, blessing bags to the concert so that it brings more awareness to our event. So in a way, it, it is building a bridge, you know, and, and um, I don't know. That's just, that's the way that I see it. You know, like I'm not... I'm not religious, you know, I often say that. I'm like, I, I have a relationship with Jesus. I know he was the son of God and who he said he was, but I'm not religious, you know? And again, religious people were the ones that 
hung him on the cross. So that should, that should make you think twice, right? Anyway, um, it's good, you know, and, and so I would just encourage anyone, if you're not sure what your purpose is, man, ask. I told a kid that the other day, yesterday, actually, at a school that I was speaking at. You know, he, he was like, he says he wanted to go in the military. He said he, that he, uh, you know, he wants to make sure, he said his mom and his dad divorced and he didn't know why and he was afraid to marry because he was like, I'm not sure if I'll choose the right person. And I was like, look, I said, if you're not sure what to do with your career or in a career or you're not sure about who to marry, I said, pray, talk to God. I said, he'll give you peace about it. And he was like, I I don't know if I don't know if I believe. And I was like, that's okay. I was like, he understands. I said, just, just say something like, God, I don't even know if you're real, but I'm looking for some sign that, that this is the way that I should go. I said, he will give it to you. I promise you he'll stand on his head to show you that he's real. And he, uh, uh, hopefully he took my advice. And I honestly believe that. Like, I don't think, I don't think God's offended if you, do, if your faith wavers, if you have a lack of faith, he understands, you know, and if you reach out, I believe that he'll answer. If you're just like, Hey, I'm, I don't even know if you're real, you know, but I, I, you know, I'm looking for an answer in this area. And I think that he'll honor that, that, uh, you know, that what, what my pastor, pastor Chris calls maybe faith. Not baby faith, but maybe faith. Like maybe you're real. Maybe that you may, you know, like maybe this is the way that I should go. I don't know. Maybe can you, you know, um, anyway. So, uh, what else is going on? Drew Hill, December 7th. Tickets are starting to sell. Really excited about it. Um, but actually I had Riff Raff, uh, which is a, a, a local rapper that I know in Baltimore wrote a song, uh, that we're going to try to get Cisco to sing the hook on. And then we're going to pay him like, you know, a small amount of money and maybe something on the back end if anything were to happen. But I'm out here dabbling, you know, just doing doing things, trying new things, doing what I like to do, stirring things up, creating buzz um, and, and just having fun, to be honest. Um, so next is uh, Blessing Bags is uh, is on December 14th. It's actually the Saturday after the Drew Hill show. We're going to be collecting items to give out to the homeless leading up to Christmas. You can find more information about that on the City Fam website. Uh, We're actually going to be doing that at the Horseshoe Casino. We're going to be assembling the bags uh, to be distributed. So it's it's like our third annual um, event. So really excited about that. And then I want to talk a little bit about, um, I want to talk about, thank you, Cher. I want to talk about um, City Fam and what's going on. So Houston is is rocking and rolling. Uh, Nicole Richard, who is the chapter lead down there, that is also our executive director, has been um, doing an amazing job um, since she took over uh, for the organization, but also for Houston. So that they're they're you know going strong. Uh, Dallas is still meeting, uh, still doing social and service events every month. Montreal is now meeting. London has just uh, launched a, a, a single fam, uh, which is basically what the, the prelude or the, the prequel to uh, becoming a city fam. Um, so it continues to spread. We're, we're finding more and more people like us. And uh, just again, keep us in your thoughts and prayers. If you, if you live in any of those places and you want to connect with like-minded people, hit me up. I'll put you in touch with the people that are heading up the, uh, the, the organizations in those parts of the world. If you live in another part of the world and you're like, Hey, look, I really need this. I want something like this. You can either reach out to me or you could go to the city fam website and you could hit the start a chapter or the let me know button. And, um, in time, <laughs> someone will reach out to you. We're, we're, we're working out the process for, um, you know, getting back to people quickly and getting them started. So, or just drop me a message uh, if you if you do do that and let me know, and I'll make sure that we speed the process up. So, what else? Um, Stefan Stefan speaks. Um, when I get back from, I leave here October twenty second is when I fly out of Bucharest. Um, I'm actually getting a, a nice Jesus tattoo right there. Uh, the face of Jesus on my arm. I'm really excited about it. Eventually I'll have a sleeve finished probably here in Romania next year when I come. But I leave the 22nd and I get back on the 23rd. And uh, right away I'm driving to Philly to speak at Stefan's. Uh, Stefan Speaks Philadelphia events. The next day I go to Pittsburgh. The following day I go to DC. So it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There, there's events in each of those places. And uh, I'm excited about it. Um, again, doors are opening. I'll be talking about, you know, sex for the most part, waiting, selling copies of the book, uh, hopefully meeting with some people that are interested in getting City Fam chapters launched in those areas and just, and just hustling. Um, I will be 
ex- you know, grateful when I get back home and I'm able to have a couple days and just chill and, you know, hang out with my family and friends and, um, you know, um, eat some American food. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of vegetables over here. But overall, everything's great. Um, doors are opening and, um, you know, I'm grateful. So I think that's it. Um, appreciate you guys. I'll keep you posted as things develop. See you.